How's it going everybody? I am back with yet another short and to the point guitar and chords tutorial. Today it's Bleak Babies with Sanctify. This is a special request by Leo F. Schmidt. Thanks so much for following the channel, commenting. Um, this is also for any and all Bleak Babies fans out there. I This is tough. This is uh, definitely a, a tougher one. I couldn't figure out the entire guitar solo because there's so much going on. But I'm going to go through. I'm going to try not to uh, stop the recording if I stutter too much. I'm just going to keep the flow. I always do these in like one take. And if I can't get the take right, sometimes I restart the video like 12 to 15 times. <laughs> but um, we're just going to get going. So Julianne is obviously doing a cool little bass line in the beginning. And John is going to be at ninth position doing this cool little lick from what I can tell. Um, it's basically just 9, 11, 9, and then 11 on the D string. So G and D strings. And then you're going to do this cool little triad, uh, E suspended fourth, basically. And then you're going to do the same thing again. And then you're going to go down here. So it's kind of like an A chord. Slide from one to two on the G string. And then you're going to go back to this again. And then the last part, you're going to do a little octave run. So that's 9 and 11 on the A and G strings, respectively. And then you're going to hold the A chord into the first verse. So that's E. And then E suspended fourth and back to E. So then when we do the verse... It's basically like D suspended second, kind of going into like a D major nine or an A shape. It, he's like John's just kind of playing around with that for the first verse. Now, when we go into the pre chorus, we're going to do C major seven in that voicing. Three, five, five, open, open, starting from the A string down. Then you're gonna move that down to B suspended fourth, and then E, and then A. That's always the pre-chorus. And then when Juliana comes in, when I do, you're gonna do E and D sus two, three times. When you get to the chorus, B suspended fourth again, to A, to E, to E sus four. I'm going to play that again. On the fourth, or on the third time, sorry. going to accent like the D suspended second and on the fourth time same as you did before and then uh, I think they go yeah yeah they go and then so the end of that first chorus uh, just to um, reiterate that D sus2 to A E sus4 to E, D sus2 to A, and then you're gonna do a palm mute B power chord, and then you're gonna do a little octave run uh, up to D, back to B, like this, to the A octaves, and then G sharp, kind of sliding in and out, and then hit your E chord. So then you're gonna do the intro again, this one's shortened. And then you're going to just go right into... So now, obviously the second verse is going to be the same. Just play around with the D suspended second shape. second pre-chorus uh, yeah now we're in the second chorus just 
just like you did before. Actually, I forgot about that. The first time in the first chorus, I think it's gonna go, I think it's gonna do D, A, E as the accent. And the second time it's gonna go, I'm not entirely sure, you know, um, sometimes it's hard to hear what's going on, but try either one for the accent on the second chorus or in the first chorus. All right, so on the last time again, this weird um i don't know i totally don't know what john's doing here but i'm gonna kind of wing it it's um fifth fret uh b string to fourth fret g string and then play third fret b to fourth fret g and then shift to like a little b minor formation b minor triad then take your index finger off and stay here for E7 suspended fourth. And then when Juliana switches to the A root note, it starts getting crazy. You know, I have no idea what's going on with any of that melody stuff. I think John's kind of playing around with like A and then like a little B minor thing into that. Just like a lot of... I have no clue. So that's pretty much the solo, but just kind of go with this for most, most of it. Wait, whoops. So yeah, when, when Juliana plays the A, it's just kind of like E and A. She's playing around with the bass line. That's the whole solo. It's just kind of E or E minor sometimes. Maybe E7. You know, there's so much going on. And there's like volume swells coming in and out and just all sorts of feedback noise. It's brilliant. Alright, so out of that, we're gonna we're gonna go into the last chorus. So this should be exactly the same as the other ones. I did that uh, not too bad without a lot of stuttering and stuff like that. So <laughs> again, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Love to all Blake babies, Juliana, John Strom, Frida fans out there. Um, yeah. If you like this content, if you want to see more of it, please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subs and far beyond, and it would be incredibly awesome to have you along for the ride. Um, doesn't cost you a dime. I upload every day, whether it's gaming stuff or music stuff, tutorials, obviously take special requests. Again, Leo, this one's for you. Um, shout out to American Laundromat for re-releasing -re all the Blake Baby stuff, and this is what, actually where I got this shirt from. This is the first time I've ever worn this. I got the shirt like two years ago <laughs> or something. I don't even remember when. I got a sky blue one and a yellow one. Um, love this so much. But anyway. So yeah, please uh, hit the like button, smash that like button if, if you found this helpful. Again, it helps the algorithm, it helps me break through it. 
Um, yeah, so not much else to say. Thanks again. I know this video was a little longer than most of the others, but I really appreciate you watching. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, pay it forward, be kind always, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.